I'll be there in five minutes. Okay. Poopy, isn't it? Kind of like that baby in the mirror. We're making it today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and it's Spooktober! On my channel we make special effects and uh, tutorials for the special effects. I really need to find some better lines. How are you liking the background lately? It's amazing! Too bad it's very limited though because uh, you can see my fingers. Ah, it's gone! My fingers! So before we get started, you need Reactor. If you don't know what it is, it's in the description below. It's like a, a plugin for extra special effects. So you need this plugin to do the special effects for this video. So click on it. So bring it in and it will form as a little rectangle square. Click on launch, install, wait for it to load and a big screen will pop up. Then you go into the search tab and then click in glitch and be sure it's empty glitch glitch um, tools once you have that install it and now you have it on to the video welcome to DaVinci Resolve please excuse my rudeness and so let's get started with putting in our video so for this video you do need to take two clips and also show a part where you're going to have um, the yourself or your reflection looking back at you like I did over here. I just did this whole thing with one take so I don't have to double take it. So you gotta do your weird kind of creepy thing in front of the mother obviously. And also um, another thing at mind you need to not be too close to the mother or else the masking will get or else like putting it in the mover and masking it will get uh, a lot more difficult. So I'm going to put this at the parts over here. The place where my, the mover is going to um, stop reflecting on me. I mean you could do this but you have to stay in one spot to make this work. And there's also another way to do this. You can duplicate the first video over here by pressing alt and then moving up and then you can trim everything down so i'm just going to show you what else you could do to make this like the mirror look straight at you smoother so you're going to right click click on retime controls and then your video should be nice and uh, a duller blue as you can see so we're going to zoom in and then we're going to add some speed points here and there. So we have to adjust. There's a lot of trial and error while doing this. It's all up to you. You don't have to do this. You can always use the second video. The only difference is you have to stand still in the same spot and do the actions. And then, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to add a speed point over here about here or so where we're not going to look at the door just yet and then so we add a speed point and we move a bit further in I don't think no I don't think we need to add a, a reverse yet not yet so we're going to move onwards and onwards and I think that uh, we can add a speed point right over here Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I have it. So you got to move this thing all the way up. Bring it all the way so you can see, uh, so we can slow down the video. So this is how you make the slow motion and stuff without like clicking on the, um, the, the little drop down arrow. Now we're going to add another speed point over here. And then on this drop down arrow, we're going to uh, rewind, rewind the segment. And we're going to stretch it and we're just going to check a little quick okay that seems about good let me stretch it a bit further 
Okay, now we just have this last part, which we just need to fast forward or just speed it up. We're going to move this a bit more because the once you speed something up or squeeze it all in all together, it's going to become very small. So we need as much as we can with this. Okay, now we click onto this. 150%, it's still too small. To click on it to again, 200%, still a bit small. Maybe we can just move it inwards or so. But I think that should be about enough. Okay, and to check, you can look over here in the Inspector tab and drop down your opacity. Be sure you're clicking on the video that you're on and you can see how it would look if you had to cut out the mover and stuff. Okay, and that's about it. So now we're going to um, video in. We don't have to use this. This is just a second video that you might have made. And now we're going to pull up the opacity first before you um, put it into fusion clip because then it's going to be see-through and then it's not going to work in your favor. So now we'll right click, put it in new fusion clip and then click on fusion. Okay, once we're on fusion, now we can um, start cutting out the mirror. So we just use a polygon tool, make sure it's on your second median. And we're just going to zoom in and then we're just going to cut the mirror. So we're going to do it in a weird way. Or at least I did it in a weird way because the door shows in the mirror. So I'm just going to cut it right about here or so throughout the line. Up the same line um, that's at the back of my wall. Okay, and then we're going to just smooth it out by clicking on the points and then just moving the arms up. Depend it doesn't matter what kind of mirror you have. You don't need my kind of specific mirror for this to work. It'll work on any mirror. You can see the door, right? So my mask is not affecting the door, so I don't have to animate it left and right the whole time. And that's it for the spoopy mover. I don't know how to add the black eyes. I assume it's just paint and background. So now we're going to add a glitching effect. You don't have to do this if you want, don't want to. So we're going to go control space click, and then type in glitch. And then you're going to find the one that says ground loop. Empty glitch ground loop. If you haven't done it yet, you have to put in the reactor before um, we get started for the video. It's obviously in the beginning, but yeah. So now it will give us this weird warping effect. And we don't want it here. So we're just going to reconnect this again. And we just we want the glitch effect to be on the whole mirror, the mirror completely. So now you can see it's giving us this weird effect all over the picture. Now we're going to duplicate the polygon that we already have with Control C and then Control V to paste. And there you go. Now we'll click it on and it will give us a mask like this. So I'm just going to stretch this out until it covers the whole mirror. So the animation on the mirror is overlapping to the part where it's supposed to be gone. So you don't have to go completely out of the fusion and then retry this all over again. You could just animate the mask by sizing it down or just by using the level. So you go on the before frame. So be, click on one frame, click on the diamonds. Then after that frame where the points where you're going to look back at the mirror, you just size it all the way down. So we're going to start off the glitching special effect by clicking on the glitch node and then we're just going to animate it by using the blend tool all the way at the bottom so now we just need to click all the way at the end to the spot where you're about to look at the camera or at the area where it's sped up to the character to catch up so you can see it's showing throughout the whole thing so move it all the way down and then go to the next frame and then move it back up to the point where you need it. Line it up. And then, and then skip a few frames like 5 or 10 or all the way to the end when you go and look at yourself. 
and now we're going to blend it all the way down just be sure the the diamonds are clicked in okay so i'm not going to show the glitching effect because i've already done a video on it it's also in the description below or at the end screens if you um, wait at the end screens it should show how to do the glitching effect so i've already done this before so the only difference is in this one you need to cut out or make a a uh, masking tool and cut out the mother and then add in the jpeg damage and then you can just adjust and do whatever the do whatever you want thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoy how i set up everything over here like the background and stuff if you want me to like change backgrounds every month not every month maybe every week month we do like a um a celebration of something like any special edition if you like the background and stuff leave a comment down below and if you enjoyed this channel you know what to do see you guys i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching my ninja go get